Hey, welcome to the next thing you know. Um, I was watching a biopic the other day about Rachel Ray, and I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that because uh, you know, I have some insight into that. I have some intelligence. Unfortunately, when it passes intelligence these days, it's just complete assholes trying to hold on to their status. That's all it is. Or establish status for those who um, haven't really earned it through experience and, and knowledge than just trying to like insulate themselves with idiots but uh, anyway Rachel Ray uh, in this biopic they did like a one second recognition of a guy named Dandy Nicola now Dandy Nicola was an English teacher in the high school I grew up in we, we didn't come from a it wasn't like a, it was a working class neighborhood in upstate New York outside of Schenectady New York Schenectady New York is a very famous city that has fallen into decline. It is famous because General Electric was uh, established there by Thomas Edison, you know, back in, the, I think, the early 1900s, or late 1800s, early, no, early 1900s. And that was pretty much where everyone worked until the 80s when NAFTA took all General Electric and its jobs and sent them overseas, at which point, Schenectady fell into decline. Now, this area is also very famous because it's a, the capital region where it's located is, is a very, it's probably one of the biggest political machines in the United States. Uh, and so, you know, you got to understand between industry and politics, there's going to be a connection. And also the media. The media, of course, is going to follow right along and be embedded into that sort of network. But that's where I grew up, right? And Rachel Ray kind of is an interesting sort of story because uh, this guy, Dan Dean Nicole, was a film critic for the local newspaper. And that meant he, uh, you know, he was around celebrities all the time. He had a, a foot in the door of the industry. And sometimes he, uh, you know, he, he also did a, you know, he, he uh, did it, wrote in the paper, his reviews in the paper. And he also was on TV, he was on RGB, which is one of the first television stations in the nation also. So it's kind of like a lot of the foundations of America's sort of modern technological word or world begin in Schenectady. And uh, so Danny Nicole, he worked, you know, as a film critic for the Schenectady Gazette, and he also on RGB, he had his program where he would go down to New York City and do all the junkets, and, you know, he knew all these celebrities, he, you know, he knew them by name, he worked with him, so he was a bit of a celebrity in our school, he was a little bit arrogant, you know, he was kind of like, you know, he was definitely a little bit arrogant, he was never my English teacher for whatever reason, but he definitely had an influence on my sort of interest in the film production, and, and so he did this program, you know, he did this program, uh, well, and so he was our English teacher, you know, and a lot of people, you know, all of Everyone knew him in school, and everyone saw him every day, you know, practically. So anyway, he did. He worked for RGB. He also did his little programs there. And one day, and, and like one week, he started to do this food program, you know. And then we're like, he's a film critic. Why? Why we have Mr. Food to do the food programs? But he he popped up on there with uh, this young, attractive uh, Italian-looking girl. Rachel Ray, you know, and it was obvious to everybody that he was sleeping with her. That was like how she got her, her, her start in the business was sleeping with Dandy Nicola, who was like 20 years older than her uh, at the time. And it was a little, little bit, you know, it was something that everybody sort of like was like, yeah, okay, Dan, <laughs> you know. But that's how she got her start, you know, and, and you could say that she was just kind of like aggressive about getting her name out and make, creating a brand for herself. And, and Danny Nicole was just a stepping stone, and, and how you can tell that is just because, you know, how she became a brand. And he, uh, he gets a one minute, you know, one minute sort of recognition in her biopic. But uh, he played, he's the one who got her in the door originally, this guy named Danny Nicole. I was kind of surprised to see that he only got like a one second 